Hey everyone, Sergey Proknevsky here from ukramedia.com and in this quick video tutorial, I want to show you how to get the correct text layer size using expressions. And by that, here's what I mean. A lot of us are used to using an amazing method called source rect at time. We use it to get the size of our text or shape layer, like the width and the height. It's perfect for that. But we do run into some issues. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So I have this text layer and this shape layer. Now this text layer is just a text layer, it's not rigged up or anything, but this shape layer is rigged up using a source rect at time method to where it gets the width of my text. So if I type something like Sergey, you can see that it follows it, it gives me the exact same length. It's perfect, you know, I can select this text and adjust the size of it and everything works. I can adjust like spacing and things of that nature and everything is working well until I start messing with the scale property of my text layer. So everything works well as long as you don't touch this. As long as you keep it at 100, it will work well. But if you take it to something like, you know, 200, it breaks. You can see that our edge right here stays where it used to be. So it doesn't recognize this scale property. And that can be an issue. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fix that. And it's going to look something like this. Let me undo all of this. So the end result is going to be like this. Again, it does the same stuff. You can type anything you want. It adjusts. You can alter the size of it in here, the spacing, and it works well. And now you can do this. You can go to scale property of the text layer and you can take it up or down. And as you can see, it works just fine. So let me show you how to set this up using expressions. All right, so we are in a new composition and we do have elements already in place. We have a text layer and the shape layer. And we're going to rig up this shape layer to where the width of it adjusts to the text width. And to do that, we're going to use the old method and then I'll show you how to fix it. So I'm going to press control and then click on this arrow key to collapse all my properties. So we're going to be dealing with the size property. I'm going to select it, press S twice to solo it. And we're going to be using expressions. So I'm going to press Alt on my keyboard and then click on the stopwatch to create an expression. In here, we're going to write a simple expression. We're going to say X, you're going to equal to, again, X is just a variable made up English. And we're going to tell it to be something. We're going to give it some kind of meaning. I'm going to say X, you're going to be the width of our text. So I'm going to pick whip to this text. And then I'm going to grab a property called width. But to do that, we need to use a method called source rect at time. So we're going to type source rect at time. And then I'm going to say width. So X will equal to the width of this text. Okay, let's keep going here. Then we're going to say Y. Again, totally made up English. And we're going to give it some kind of meaning. Y, I want it to be this value right here. So 20. So how do we get it? without actually typing 20. I guess we can type 20 and it'll be fine, but I want to point to this value because I want to be able to adjust it anytime that I want. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna say value. Now, if you have a one dimensional property, value will do the job. However, in this case, value means a two dimensional property. So we need to be specific which one, right? So I want the second one. And what that means is that we need to point to the index property of it. And the way it works in After Effects, index count starts at zero. So it'll be zero, one. So it'll be value index number one. And that will give us 20. And to do that, we're going to use square brackets. So we're going to say one. Again, y is just going to equal to whatever we type in here. In this case right now, it's 20. So now we need to finish it up because in our final statement, we need to have identical kind of value, right? In other words, this property has a two-dimensional value and we want to make sure that the end right here is also two-dimensional value because both of them have to match in order to work. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to open up and or I guess we're going to use square brackets and we're going to say X comma Y. And here's why because X is going to be applied to the first value and then Y is going to be applied to the second value. And X, remember, is the width of our text and then Y is the height of our text, right, which is this value. So now when I click away, everything is working well. I can adjust this, right, and it's working well. And the width adjusts. I can type anything I want, like just Euchre Media by itself, and it's working. I can adjust the size. So everything is working. So we got it to the proper place. But now let's see what happens when we mess with the scale property of our text. So I'm going to select this, press S, and uh, let's scale this. As you can see, it's not working. So how do we fix it? 
To fix that, I do have a code that you need to copy. And to do that, just go down below this video in the description area, click on the link. It'll take you to a page where you can copy the code and just do what I'm doing here. Once you've copied the code, it's pretty simple. Just go back to our expression here and we're gonna enter a few lines right above it. We're gonna paste it right above this code like this. So we do have our new code in place, as you can see, there it is. But we do need to make some adjustments. So we need to adjust this target layer variable. So instead of this path, we need to point to our current text. So like this, so make sure you highlight it. As you can see, we have a new path to the new text layer. So that's good. One more thing you need to do, you wanna make sure you take this final size variable, make sure you copy it, and then replace this path that we just wrote we no longer need that. So we're gonna replace it for this variable. So X is gonna to equal to final size and Y is gonna stay the same. So once you do that, you can click away and as you can see, everything is working fine. You can still adjust the Y. However, now again, you can type anything you want in here. Everything is working well, but this time you can also adjust the size of your layer. As you can see, you can move it around here or there and it's working just fine. Again, you can type something like Sergey. You can alter things and it's working well. And by the way, this is only for the X, right, for the length of the text. If you wanna get the width or the height of the text, you might wanna do some more adjustments. And it's pretty simple. You just need to adjust the W variable right here instead of width, just change it to height. And uh, for the S, you wanna make sure that scale right here instead of zero, remember index zero, means the first value, which is the X, and then one would equal the Y. So you wanna make sure you change that to one because we want the Y, the height. And after that, just click away. As you can see, it gives you the length, right, of your, or I guess the height of your text, but it applies it to the X uh, of this shape layer. So you can select this text, you can move it around. As you can see, it, it looks identical to it. So it does work either way. So if you need to make those adjustments, you know how. And one more thing I wanna mention, you can either do the path thing by you know, highlighting this and pointing to the text layer, or you can use a, um, an expression control. I love using it, it's called layer control. Just uh, select the shape layer, go to effect controls, and uh, in here we already have a layer control, which I'm gonna get rid of. But to get it, just right click here and go to expression controls, click on this layer control, and uh, you can just keep it as is, or you can rename it. But let's rename it to something like layer. Okay, and then instead of you know doing the whole path thing, you can just select this path, and instead of pick whipping to the text, you can pick whip to this layer control. And uh, now you can pick which layer you want from here, which is really useful. So if you want the text, you can just do text. And as you can see, it's working. You can go back to the width like this and uh, zero, there you have it. That's how easy it is to do it in After Effects. All right, well, this is the end of this tutorial. I really hope you found it useful. And if you have, make sure you like this video, share it, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on social media. And if you wanna learn more about expressions in After Effects, you should definitely take our online course at ukramedia.com slash expressions. The link to that is at the bottom of this video. Check it out. But in the meantime, my name is Sergey Proknevsky, and this is ukramedia.com.